so stay with us. We start though with more revelations about the resignation of one of our best known head teachers. Drew Povey from the television show Educating Greater Manchester has been talking to me about the challenges and loneliness of leadership. He admits mistakes were made but denies there was ever any deliberate attempt to massage exam results. He quit his post months after being suspended amid an investigation into record keeping at Harrop Fold School in Salford. It has nearly 800 pupils. He says he's been the victim of a personal vendetta and he had no trust in that investigation. He spoke to me at his home earlier today and told me what a difficult decision that resignation had been. For me in this decision it wasn't about what happened to me and it wasn't about the council or it wasn't just about the school as a name, it was about the kids on a day-to-day -day basis. And I remember back to how the school got in a mess in the first place and that was because of instability, a lack of certainty. Therefore, that was the reason why I said, I think I've got to do something to give everybody some clarity in this situation. Why not stay on though to fight to clear your name? I think this is one way of clearing my name actually and not, you know, signing a compromise agreement or a gagging clause of anything to actually tell people what has happened. But Salford Council are talking about serious allegations against you, yes. aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, and I'm not quite sure where they're getting that from or, or what they're getting at by saying that. Do you accept that you made any mistakes at all? Absolutely we did. You know, you, we, we will make mistakes running a school. What mistakes? So the mistakes will be around the coding of kids. Each student will be given a code depending on their status within the school. So some might be on alternative provisions, some might be at the school part of the time, some might be at the school for the whole time. So you've got to make sure that you've got the coding right so that we know where the kids are and that we are absolutely clear on whether those kids' exam grades should stand or not. So what went wrong with that? So we made a mistake by putting the wrong code down for two students, which meant that they won't have counted on our exam results. So those two students, presumably, the allegation is that they were underperforming and effectively they vanished from your system? Yes. Yeah, and they, they won't have counted in our exam results. So the implication there is that we're trying to boost our figures or massage our exam results. My personal response to that would always be that doesn't make any sense. You know, as a very inclusive school, we don't exclude kids and we haven't for over 10 years. We do accept kids that other mainstream schools wouldn't, you know, with various learning difficulties and we accept some really challenging kids that aren't doing too well in other schools and they do really well. So we lose a, quite a large percentage each year in terms of performance because we are running a very inclusive school. So have you ever taken children off the register, off-rolled them effectively so that they vanish from the system? No, there's, there's, there are lots of ways in which you can do that, but we have been adamant, but we, we haven't done that Never. by no on purpose. No, we, what we've done is we have made a mistake and we've been very honest about that, you know, from the, from the start of the investigation. And was it done deliberately? I don't believe it was done deliberately, no. I mean, it's hard to prove whether anything was done um, deliberately, but people are going to make mistakes, particularly administrative errors. The important thing after any mistake is the learning that comes from it, and, you know, we need to learn from this, and we need to improve our practice at Harrop, and that ultimately is what it's about, and people have got to take responsibility, and I certainly have done that. So as far as you know, it's just the off-rolling of a couple of students yes. and did you do that or did someone else do that? Yeah I mean I, I won't do those types of administrative tasks as an executive head you know there will be a lot of people within within the school that will do that and I will always take responsibility is probably the biggest thing to say though we've never at any point gone we think it's happened here you know if you're part of a team and you're part of a, an organization then you have to take responsibility for everything that happens in it. Having been through this now myself, it's been a steep learning curve. I feel very humbled by the support I've been given. I'm very privileged to have had the people around me that I have to be able to help me deal with the most challenging time in my work life um, that I've ever had. Will you ever work in a school again, do you think? I'm not sure. What I do know is, is that I love working with young people, those kind of kids at Harrop. It's been, you know, incredible and that's why I've offered to go back free of charge to help out in any way possible and the position I hold there is irrelevant to me. It's being part of what's happened at that school. It is a truly incredible place. 
Well, Salford Council declined our request for an interview and referred us to their previous statement. Councillor Lisa Stone said the council completely refutes the allegation this is a personal vendetta or that Mr Povey was ever offered money to walk away. In my experience, she says, governors do not launch investigations and suspend senior members of staff for mere administrative errors. This is an in-depth and wide-ranging investigation into many serious allegations.